Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plant vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we are finally in Mount Steep, of course, here to complete the story mode a little bit more. We've gotten all the main missions done as we have for every area, but like the last two areas, which is the Plant Town Center and the Weirding Woods for the Zombies, we have now 100% completed everything. Uh, now we're doing the same here for uh, Mount Steep. Early is trying to get started with that today. We're going to be doing all the challenge chests in today's episode, and hopefully in some upcoming episodes we can do some other things like getting the golden gnomes, doing the solo ops, all that kind of stuff. But for right now, let's go ahead and find out where the challenge chests even are. Hmm. They should be around somewhere. I wish I would just show the symbol, but it doesn't. So we just sort of have to look around. There's Aaron who does the bounty hunts. Fondue Frank for the fondue stuff. Bingo Bongo, Bingo Bongo is what we need, yeah, okay. So we're gonna go to Bingo Bongo and try to get some of these challenge chests done. Should be a lot of fun. Um, I don't think they're gonna be too bad. Of course they were for the Plant Town Center, but since then they've actually updated them and made them easier. And we saw that a lot with the Weirding Woods for the Zombies. The challenges actually weren't that difficult to complete. I think one of them might have taken me an extra try, but it was definitely not anything too bad. See, I'm just really looking forward to exploring everything here in the Mount Steep area. Should be cool you know, throughout the next couple of episodes that we do it. And we're almost, we're more than halfway done with all the story mode stuff if you compare like all four of the areas. But anyways, Bingo Bongo, if I'd known you were coming, I would've dusted. Glad to see you again. Can I ask you something? Since you got, uh, since you got here, anyone mistake you for a rodeo clown? <sighs> no one thinks I'm with STM, tracking track battles all, the, all over Neighborville, even here. <laughs> Say, Dave needs you. Go to a battle chest challenge. Beat him, and I'll, all, and I'll reward you. Thanks. Dry here, huh? I'll offer you some seltzer, but my, my lapel flowers in the shop. Oh no. <laughs> all right, well, as you can see, there are five different challenges to tackle. One on crazy difficulty, one on hard, two on normal, and one on casual. We'll start with the casual one. Just build it is a gnome bomb challenge. Engineers usually solve problems. Can you solve how to defeat them in gnome bomb mode? The bonus objective is to destroy 10 engineer heavy helper turrets. Let's hope we can do exactly just that in our first challenge. I would imagine we could. Usually isn't too bad to do something like that, so we will try it out and hope for the best. So here we are at Mount Steep Gnome Bomb. The Gnome Bomb is a lot of fun. If it's just engineers, we should be able to handle this no problem. I do want to change my character. I don't just want to be playing Pea Shooter today. Uh, who do I want to play though? Good question. Honestly, don't know. I, I'm in a bit of a Snapdragon kind of mood. So we're gonna go for this. I like how the battle chest is still there. Can't just open it up and take everything for ourselves right now though. We need to complete the actual battles. So it looks like a engineer has indeed gotten it. Let's try to put a stop to him if I can, because we also need to make sure we win. <laughs> That's another big thing. So let's grab it for ourselves and find out where the first zombie thing is gonna be. Oh, okay, these guys are attacking me for right now, which is not so good. There we go, run, run, run. Where is my team? I don't know. But I'm just gonna keep jumping around a little bit. Oh, actually, this is farther than I thought it would be. Okay, we'll get there. I have not seen any of the heavy helper turrets just yet. I'm sure sooner or later we'll run into them though. In the meantime, keep going, keep going. I don't see any plants, any zombies, any anybody. It's sort of weird. I, mean, I don't want them to defuse this, but also I don't really know how much of a threat they actually are. Go ahead and get rid of you. Get rid of this thing. Ah, uh, boom, actually not too bad. There we go. So I don't think there's any engineers around to defuse it, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> We're just gonna go and hope that that actually is the case, because are they just all like over here fighting or something? Sort of seems like it. How am I supposed to take out heavy helpers if they don't spawn any heavy helpers in? Aha, here's one. Destroy it quick. Thank you, that's one out of 10. We still need to do that nine more times. So I might just want to not do a very good job at delivering the gnome bombs at first. Is that another one you just set up? No, oh yes it is. That's two out of 10. Okay, let's go for you. Let's just do the blue blazes. That should get you, or not, or not. Thanks game. Come on, gotcha. Then over here, throw the flames on him. Or not. <laughs> not doing so well with some things here. But we're running up some quick experience at the least, which is always fun. Does anybody have the gnome bomb? It looks like the plants do. I'm just gonna let the plants do it. If a zombie picks up the gnome bomb, I'll stop them. But beyond that, I don't mind too much. Just not worrying about it. Okay, there's at least one heavy helper over this way. I need to destroy it. Pronto, throw down the flames. Got it. Destroy this thing, because why not? Just for good measure. Make sure they have everything taken out. So it looks like they dropped the gnome bomb. I really don't mind too much. Like I said, oh darn. I need to get that heavy helper. They're starting to spawn those in at a faster rate and I need to take full advantage of it. 
Oh, Revenge from the Grave, cool. So where am I gonna be? I'm gonna be way over here on the other side of the map. Oh, but, but there is one over here. Okay, ready? Boop, boop, boop. Got it, that is four out of 10. Almost halfway there. Quite the, quite the stat. Oh, here he is, I'm back to get you. That's five out of 10, halfway there for real this time. But we do have to stop this uh, engineer if we can, where is he? He seems to be over this way, this was a mistake. Oh no, okay, well that hurt, but we can make that work. All right, he's up here for now. You know what, we can handle that if we go up like this and then destroy ya. Thank you. I'm not gonna let them actually win, but I'm also trying to drag this game out as long as possible because I could have won by now, I think. At least that's my gut feeling with how fast we got the first known bomb, but the thing is, is I wouldn't have gotten the 10 heavy helpers. So that's where we just have to drag things out. Okay, speaking of which, there's one way down here. And we got it, that's six out of 10. Good progress. So plants have the bomb because, uh, oh, because I think the pea shooter picked it up. I'm going to jump up and then slam down. <laughs> okay, I slammed down a little too far. But hey, we got it. Okay, what are you doing, buddy? Let's throw the flame wall down just like that. Not too bad, gonna land on both of them. Throw the bull blazes at this guy, just for good measure, and they got me, but that's fine. We're at 15 vanquishes already. We're storming through this pretty quick. It, it's sort of a weird challenge for sure because it's really not about winning, it's about getting this bonus challenge done, and it's just time consuming. But once we do it, we're destroying these guys, like for sure. There's no, there's no chance for them. There we go. So we need two more heavy helpers to pop up. Oh, 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 here we go, come on. Did we get it? No, did the pea shooter take that seriously? That's lame, that's really lame, pea shooter. I really needed that. Ah. Uh, Okay, well there's the gnome bomb. Once again, not gonna worry about it just yet, but I will worry about this right here. There we go, nine out of 10. Can you guys set up one? Thank you so much. All right, see ya, I gotta go win something right now. Uh, well, it looks like the plants already have this set up right over here. Uh, we're gonna jump up and slam down like this. They're actually putting up a bit more of a fight now. We get a prize bulb though. Got it, come on, oh, I need to pick it up. I needed to pick it up so that I could refill my health. Darn. Oh, he's laughing at me too. Yikes, that hurts. Hurts my feelings. Okay, well we can handle this now. We're gonna go and grab that, that bomb and just win this, win this super quick. Where is he going? He's trying to go down here. Not gonna work for him, boom. Uh, that was weird, thank you. So they're both over this way. That should be pretty handleable. I'm gonna go for you first. When they do, you know, damage us down decently quickly, but I can handle it. Hopefully my team does show up sooner or later, but even then, I think we could do it on our own. Not to say that I wouldn't like my team's help, I would love that. Oh, hello. Got rid of that one. So they were trying to defend and get ready for me. I was too powerful for them now. So, boom, have that planted, and now we just gotta destroy these engineers before they can do too much more. Thank you. Because they're not gonna be coming around from that way. I really don't think. Oh, destroy this turret real quick. Got it. And where was his creator? There we go, now you're in trouble, trying to go through our wall of flames. We actually got vanquished there. Let's hope it's not too late. Oh no, three seconds left. Okay, we're fine. Boom, bomb detonated, which means we get 250 coins, but on top of that, we just gotta wait around for the next gnome bomb. And it's gonna be right over here, just like last time. This guy's jumping around. Come on, got him. Okay, grabbing this and we're going this way. Stay with me, teammate. Could you uh, go on your super speed mode and help us out that way, maybe? I don't think she's interested. Oh, get you, get you, get you. Awesome. And, right over there. Okay, we got this. Keep jumping, I've almost got it. And boom, so now we just gotta defend this and we'll get a quick win. That wasn't too bad, that was just a time consuming one is all. Okay, what do you think you're doing? You're not the fuse in that thing, nuh -uh. Oh, neither are you. There we go, thank you. 
We are pretty beat up right now, but this should be it. So let's just dive in, throw the blue blazes out. I don't know, maybe, maybe they might be able to get that because none of our teammates actually show up to help. Did they just defuse it? Come on, where's our team? Why do I gotta do everything myself? This is so silly. Okay, well the zombies have the bomb now. We can handle that though. We can just go over here, take him out, pick up the gnome bomb. No, don't spawn in a plant pot. Okay, spawn in a plant pot so I can pick up the gnome bomb. Game, now you're making me upset. Go on, gotcha. Because all the plants have to do is just follow me around. But no, they're not interested in doing that. Okay, hold on. Let's destroy this thing. Hopefully get a second just to heal up. That would be great, but I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. All right, our healing is happening. Nobody's around. They just sort of do their own thing. The AI doesn't seem very uh, well designed for actually playing Gnome Bomb, and that's unfortunate. Because we need them to play Gnome Bomb right now. Okay, well the engineers seem to be well equipped, they understand, but it's just our teammates are like, what, huh? No, Vanquish confirmed? Okay, let's play that. There we go. Let's beat you up a little bit. Throw down the wall, fire again. Come on, just for 14 seconds, we can do that, right? Why am I getting stuck? There's so many of them though, they actually are really starting to pack a punch. When they all come in at once like this, please, please no, please no, that's it, that's it. We just need two more seconds, I think we got it, I think we got it, yes! All right, well, I basically had to do one versus all there, but it worked towards the end, so that's great. And we got to do it as the Snapdragon. So, well, I'll have to see what happens for this next round, but the casual one was finally finished. Yeah. So there is that, and as you can see, we get 9,332 coins, and just build it is our uh, medal there. Mark needs all the help he can get in those ops. He keeps seeing shapes in, in the rocks. What kind of cheese did he eat? Yeah, Mark is the guy who hosts the solo ops. Uh, Mad Science, Vanquish confirmed. Do you have the right chemistry to take out these scientists? And the bonus objective is Vanquish 10 scientists. I think I can handle that one if there's only scientists to Vanquish. So basically Vanquish confirmed and get at least 10 Vanquishes. This one should even be easier than the other one then. Who do you wanna play this time though? Maybe I'll keep with Snapdragon. Honestly, I'm just in a, like a super Snapdragon mood. Uh, I wouldn't mind customizing him though, because honestly, I've already seen this hat. This is the food fight hat. Uh, let's just switch it around a little bit. Uh, I will do, I will do this how we just got from Rux. Uh, we'll make it blue. I like it. There we go, good enough. Let's get going. Vanquish 10 scientists. Let's get started with it. How are we doing with his levels? He's level five. We might be able to get him level six this round depending on how many scientists we truly are able to vanquish. Because I'm guessing they're gonna start swarming us once we start battling them, but I have to find some first before I can say that definitively. Because I don't see any around. I'm sure they're around somewhere though. Maybe, potentially. Where are the scientists? There we go, there's one. Whoop, I jumped the wrong way. That's fine, I made it. Because he has sort of like a bit of a glide to him. And boom, there's our first one, nine more to go, give me that orb. They have like a smaller team? No. I was gonna say, it's, it's just weird. And they're overhealed too, which makes sense. That's our second one right there. And, are there any more around? You'd think they would bunch up and heal each other consistently that way, but no. Oh, hey, get back here. Got him. Okay, that's our third one. We just gotta keep going through it. Definitely, we're in the lead, it's 10 to four. What are you firing at, Citron? I don't know. Oh, uh, we probably should play a Citron because I actually do have a daily challenge to get Citron Vanquishes. So we, we won't do that this round because we've already gotten started with him, uh, with the Snapdragon, but give me that and you over here. I love how long that range is. Already halfway through. Where are the other scientists though? Don't see any around this way. I was hoping this would maybe be like their spawn or something. I'm just trying to go the opposite way our plant team is going because it seems like our plant team's not near them either. Okay, throw that down. Be a bit careful here because they are healing each other. That was weird, because they're like firing at each other for some reason too. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish with that, but they did not do it. I was able to vanquish both of them. Watch it, watch it. Sanji's so actually trying to get me here. He might, might succeed if I'm not careful. Oh no, <laughs> he succeeded. Oh boy. Why do they always taunt me? Oh, who picked that up? Was it another scientist? Okay, well we know at least there's a couple scientists over that way. Let's try to make our way over then, and hopefully we can 
do something about it. If I can make this jump, that is. I guess they are maybe traveling a little bit all by themselves. Oh, got him. That's another Vanquish 9 out of 10. I just need one more scientist to be destroyed and we'll have everything we ever wanted. Couple of thousand coins. Oh, hello. And see ya. So we're almost halfway there for this round in general. Uh, 24 out of 10, or 24 versus their 10. Once again, Citron, what are you trying to do? Okay, hold on, jump and slam. That's what I'm trying to do. Got it. Give me that orb. Oh, you stinker. Stop stealing my orbs. I don't see too many others at the moment. Oh, there was one over there. Come on, let's go get him. We're almost at 30 now. So we're making some decent progress. Here he is. Got it. And I think there was another one down this way. At least there was at some point. Oh. Nope. Okay. Oh, here we go. One way down here. I actually got goatified too. And one of the goats just ran into the cheese. And that is where he will stay. So I'm go definitely gonna go try to get that. I land in the cheese myself, but I'm fine. I'm fine. But it looks like we lost a couple of points. We're down to 31 now. I mean, I guess we're not down at all, but we, we just went slower going up, I feel. Well, there's that. Come on. As long as I can find where the scientists are, this becomes so much easier. Half of the round is just sort of searching out for him. There was another one over this way. I'm gonna get you guys, throw out the fire. I guess I didn't need to do all that, but I thought I did. Where is the next set? It looks like there might be one over here. No, that's an orb. Okay, well, good job getting that. And I'll get you. Thank you. Blue blazes onto this guy would be great. Oh, man. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This could turn out really well. I don't know why they're firing at each other while they're trying to heal. Like, they get very confused in a weird way. But now with the sunflower helping me, we can just take out this whole group. 10 orbs left. Grab this one that's just chilling out there. 43. Come on, seven more remaining. Let's get you. Throw the firewall down. I don't know if that hit either of them, but I tried. There we go, 46. I just need more scientists to destroy, to totally dismantle. Yeah, so far these challenges haven't been too bad. They're not supposed to be just yet. We haven't even reached the more difficult ones. Okay, here we go, ready? Jump up and go for him. Okay, Chomper's gonna get that guy, no problem. That's excellent, and we'll get this guy 48. I don't see any else around. I'm just trying to get better at searching out for him, but they seem to be good at hiding. I'm seeing how the score's not going up. It seems like the other teammates haven't found them either. Oh, here we go, here we go. We're gonna get you, maybe. Oh, boom, and that's the final one. Awesome. So I feel like that didn't take as long as the engineer one, so at least there's that. It was still tough, but it was a bit more simple. Just vanquish all of the enemies nearby. Your team wins. 5,970 coins this time. Uh, not as much as before, that's okay. Uh, so I think he's went back in time telling him he's not, might be too shocking, I don't know. I missed the first message there, sorry. Uh, Imp Overlord, Suburbanation, defeat a team of imps in Suburbanation. It's, it's been interesting so far. Team of engineers, scientists, and then imps. Just full teams of things. Uh, imps in Suburbanation, vanquish three imp mechs. I can only hope that would happen as we deal with a bunch of imps. With that being said, this one shouldn't be too bad. I will play as uh, Citron this time, because like I said, daily challenge, vanquish heroes as Citron should be doable. Okay, so, challenges. Vanquish here as a Citron, respawn, and let's get to it. Even though Snapdragon has been a lot of fun, it's now time for the Citron dude. So for the mechs, I really don't know how that's gonna happen. We just have to sort of wait for the mechs to pop up in the meantime. You know, any of them count for Vanquishing here as a Citron. So that's nice. Let's first get you a little bit, or not. Here, let's use the laser, because there's a couple of them lined up here. Wow, your health is actually not going down very quickly with that. There we go, that's two. Okay, let's get the suburbanating. I see you coming, but you're not, Never mind. you left. Okay, there's that point. We have two of them. 
We actually don't have the one over here. That's not what I was expecting. Let's get over there real quick. Is there any imps around? There is. Got him. And you. Beat you up. Oh, there's actually two of them here. Okay, well we got all those two. Five out of 15, one third of the way there. Oh, and you guys got that. So we're suburbanating. Good to see it. That's some easy coins at the least. Hmm. And they might put it to an end here. Oh, I gotta get the mech. Gotta get the mech. I feel like the laser doesn't do as much damage. Maybe it's because I wasn't landing a headshot with it. I suppose so. But that is our, how is that not a imp mech vanquished? What? Zero out of three still. Oh, I feel like this might be one of those missions that I might simply have to replay for the sole fact that the mission itself or the bonus doesn't work out. But we'll have to wait and see. Oh, throw down this for sure. And then you guys are in trouble. Boom, the double vanquish going right through the both of them. There's that. I don't see any mechs at the moment. But I do see an imp I can get rid of. Gotcha. There's only five more to go. We should be able to handle that. I'll get a surprise bulb, which is cool. Oh no, hey, where are you? Are you dancing at me? Or were you calling in your mech? Probably should have waited. Maybe some patience would have been key there. Oh my gosh. Weird round so far, but we can make this work. The more time that goes on, the more of a chance they'll be maxed because of course they have to wait for their mechs to sort of load up. But you think they'd be ready by now? We've only seen one mech. I don't know if that's gonna change. Okay, so let's do that and then, oh, it's like a bowling alley. I like it. We just need one more vanquish here. We'll get it on this guy. There we go. So that is the daily challenge completed. So we can just stay on this point. Pretty relaxed. Hold on, maybe we can't. <laughs> okay, so once again, set that up. Vanquish them all, one by one, or all at once, I don't really care. But still no mechs popping up, except for the one that apparently I didn't even get the vanquish on, which is total baloney. Where are they? They're too small. I'm being revived though, thank you. We just need to find three mechs and vanquish all of them. That is quite a lot to ask for, but I don't know, I feel like we can do it. Maybe they're just around somewhere else. I know, I know. Definitely no mechs over here. Hello. You wanna get vanquished? Because you're getting vanquished. There's gotta be a mech around somewhere. Okay, come on, get you a little bit. You're kidding me. They're honestly pretty accurate. I'm a little scared by them. There is a mech. There is what we need to focus on. Put all of our energy towards. Uh, I'm still invincible, okay. Tackle that and just go for it as much as I can. I can hear a ton of mechs coming down. Did we get that one? You're kidding, we didn't. That doesn't make any sense. How is that not a vanquish on the imp mech? Am I seriously gonna have to do this one over? We're at 65 points right now. It's gonna end soon. And I heard it, oh, here we go. Yeah, that was me, that was all me. Nobody else has taken that one from me. Okay, charge, charge, charge. Thank you, I got the both of them, but I still need to get two more max. It could happen, I could get very, very lucky, but so far that's not looking like it's gonna be the case. Oh my gosh. 24 vanquishes so far is pretty wild though. He's dancing at me, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're suburbanating again. We're almost at our prize bulb too. Is there a imp over here? There indeed is. There's a couple actually. Well, we know what to do. Got the vanquishes. Okay, shield, shield, shield. Come on, he's like stuck right now, but he's still like about to get me. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Okay, well something got him. It wasn't me. Where are the rest of them? We might need something a little bit more long range viable. If we are, if we are to go for this again and have to uh, try to get the, the mechs again, I might wanna do something a little bit longer range. There's our prize bulb though at the least. And at least we're getting something here. Well, we're definitely going to win. The problem is I like to only have to win once. I mean, I think that once we get the challenge done, we might even just be able to quit. 
I don't really know how that works. We'll have to consider it. Whoop, there we go, double vanquish, here we go. This is my chance, this is my chance, don't ruin it. Oh, it feels like it's getting ruined, but I got it, two out of three. One more mech to go, I just gotta find one. Can you revive me please, thank you. It's always this Colonel Corn. he's the best. And the zombies are actually suburbanating now. What a twist. They better not turn around and somehow win this. That'd be ridiculous. Okay, so no mechs on this point at the moment. Got him, okay. Capturing it real quick so we can start gaining points again. Got it. Okay. Ouch. Oh, they are all over the place right now. They are everywhere. Ouch. Jeez, <laughs> they're just really good at swarming us. Like little flies. <laughs> okay. Oh, there was a mech somewhere then. I got vanquished by a mech. According to that health bar. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't see one. I'm desperate to find a mech right now. I just, I'm so close. I'm so very close. There's literally one more needs to be vanquished. If it wasn't for the first two mechs that I got, that were, uh, not counted at all. Apparently I hadn't gotten them. Okay, here's our chance. Oh, please. Yes, there it is. 5,500 coins granted. We're going to vanquish these guys then, just like this, charge them. I know I'm about to get vanquished from behind. There was another imp running around, but we got point A. So we just need to take multiple points. They're really fighting back now. This is actually a problem. I might have to change classes now <laughs> to something that can just sort of hit them more consistently. I might actually have to change back to uh, Snapdragon for now. Didn't want to have to, but I'm getting a bit concerned. I mean, I don't know, maybe Snapdragon won't be any better. All right, and that's Suburbanation, good, 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 good. But when the little imps like this pop up, I just feel like they're much easier to take down. And we can also do that. I don't know if we needed to. And we're almost about to win this, let's just keep protecting this point. I think it's gonna work. There it goes, we win. So we got the challenge done along with it. I didn't think, I didn't really know what was gonna happen, but it happened, and that's fantastic. So, three challenges done, two more to go. So that was 8,129 coins and the Imp Overlord uh, thing, metal. Sergeant Appeal's brother Mark is out here too, running ops. I think he thinks he went back in time. Oh yeah, that's what he said last time. So, let's do this one, Outnumbered Team Vanquish. Do you want, do you have what it takes to beat overwhelming odds? I sure hope so. The bonus objective is to revive teammates three times, so we're definitely playing Sunflower. Without a doubt we're playing so far because here's the thing, we can complete the objective without completing the bonus, and we can do the opposite too. We can complete a bonus without completing the objective, and that still counts. So even if we just revive a bunch of people this round and then switch out a sunflower or do something like that, that's fine to me. But we're gonna stick by people, try to heal them, but also if they get vanquished, no big deal, we'll just revive them real quick and get that challenge, that bonus challenge done. Okay, so let's follow them as much as I can. Come back. Hmm. See, a chomper might be good to stick to. Is this just uh, Team Vank? Well, you're kidding me. What even got me there? That was a ZPG, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. Huh. Okay, come on. Let's get you if I can. Boom, so it is Vanquish, or Team Vanquish. So we definitely need to revive our teammates, so if you could just stick around for a mo, come on, chomper. Be a team player. Oh, hey, hey, hold on. Don't be laughing. Yeah, that's sort of the biggest downfall of the computer so far, is that they always have to taunt when they vanquish somebody. It's just in their code, literally. The 80s, the 80s action hero got me that time. The 80s vanquish hero. Might as well what his real name should be. So we're not winning at the moment, but that's fine as long as I can get some stinking revives. So you, over here, don't, don't do this to me. Don't, don't. Come on, <laughs> give me a chance here. What do you got to gain from that, huh? Hey, they, we really are outnumbered. It's four versus eight then. Wow, that's like really outnumbered. For this game, that's tough to deal with. There's like no chance of being able to revive properly with that. And as long as I can find the chance three separate times. And I just really don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I can't tell where this guy is, but apparently they can tell exactly where I am. 
Ah, uh, great, come on. This is gonna be really difficult. I mean, I know it's in hard mode, but this seems actually ridiculous. I mean, I think that's how it was for uh, Weirding Ones, right? The hard mode challenge was tougher than the crazy difficulty challenge. From what I remember, at the least. Okay, they have a scientist, which is just perfect. Come on, a couple more shots, there we go. Get ourselves healed up. Oh, are you reviving? No reviving. Thank you. Because I'm trying to revive, you guys won't ever let me do that. Okay, heal this sunflower, get this guy. Excellent. Now, can we please find somebody to revive quick? Apparently right now, no. We're not impossibly far behind. If we were just able to get the revives and then plays a different character that might be able to vanquish a little bit more quickly, that'd be fine. Okay, watch it. Ow. He's got some really good aim with that stuff. I'm not supposed to be the one that needs reviving. This is the opposite of what I need right now, you know. Oh my gosh, this guy's just standing here because once again, he's laughing. But the chomper was laughing too, so it was just like nobody benefited from that. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha, turn back around this way. See, it feels like they're going right for me. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't let him do this. He's dancing, this is our chance. Okay, well we got that revive, awesome. Okay, here comes the Captain Deadbeard, got him. No problem. Uh, let's heal some people real quick. Get rid of that thing, because that thing's definitely not helping anybody. So we got one revive, we need two more. You're kidding me. Oh, get rid of him. Down you go. But then we gotta get down there pronto to revive you. Don't do it. No, it's mine, I'm sorry. Don't mean to steal this from you, but I gotta steal this from you. Awesome, that is, what, that didn't count? Oh, you stinker. I mean, usually I would appreciate you doing that, but right now I don't. Luckily, we're turning this around, it's 19 to 17. I've been getting so many interruptions this round, you have no clue. <laughs> My phone keeps going off with alerts about an icy road. I'm not driving, I'm playing a video game. Okay, so, 21 to 20, so, because of my distractedness, we're sort of falling behind here. Why did I spawn next to all of the opponents? That doesn't make any sense, why? Probably because there's twice as many of them as there is of us. Get rid of the parrot, the parrot needs to go. I did get rid of the parrot there, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just need two more revives. In a normal situation, that's not so bad, but when we have three teammates, and who knows where they are? <laughs> where are they? Why was I spawned on the other side of the map from them? It's a pretty simple concept, just spawn me next to my teammates. Okay, this person's low on health, which likely means they need to be revived soon, and they do. Come on, get over there quick. Get over there quick. You little silly duckling. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. There we go. So we're halfway there, which is fantastic. I'm so happy for us. But just let me revive you. Ah! Oh, this is not going well. This challenge is ridiculous. Okay, Sunflower at least revived me. Oh no, actually maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't. Uh, why even bother? Okay, revive quick. Please just let me do this, please just let me do this, please just let me do this! Why do you have to be such a jerk? <laughs> ah, battle for Neighborville. What is, the, what is the problem here? That is just insane. And it's like, we're not even ah, that far away from losing. Like We're only three points behind, but the game just refuses by all means to work with me. Level four achieved. Who's over here then? Is that a cactus? That is a cactus, okay. You got this, the scientist, that's good. No dancing, we need to be vanquishing, not dancing. Okay, we gotta break his shield or something. Um, okay, engineer first then. Be careful, oh my gosh, why? Very painful, very painful. Okay, get the cactus immediately. Heal myself, heal myself. No, please don't! Why does it have to be this way every single time? It just, uh, I mean, I get it, it's because they're outnumbering us, but it's just insanely bad luck too. Okay, okay, watch it, buddy. Not happening. I mean, we're almost in the lead too. If I wasn't so focused on reviving, which I'm forced to be because of this bonus challenge, we would get it. So this one's by far the most difficult challenge of the day so far. We'll have to see what the next one's like. Come on, come on. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, there's too many over there. What do you know, we're outnumbered. Oh, they're getting us good here too. Ah, uh, I just need a moment. I just need a moment, please. Okay, my moment has been granted. I appreciate that. I'll give credit where credit is due. Where in the world are they right now? Okay, it looks like you got him, which is nice. But who is over here trying to get us? You. Oh, you, did you get revived? I thought you got vanquished. Maybe the sunflower got you? Why does the sunflower have to be a better sunflower than me? There we go, they're coming in. At the least we're winning this, you know? Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Revive, we're definitely gonna be able to get you. Nice, two out of three. Can we find a way to get one more revive? Oh no, oh this is problematic. This is problematic, back it up. We need to work as a team right now, as much as possible. Got it. They're still coming in from somewhere. Oh, there he is. Don't go for me, don't go for me! <laughs> he, he went for me. There we go. So it's 35 to 34, we're in the lead, but we need to stick together as a team, Cactus. We need to stick together as a team. Pretty nice vanquish right there. He was trying to get me, but this did not succeed. Okay, oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, he missed somehow. Pretty simple thing not to miss, but he missed it. There we go, double vanquish there. Somebody's been attacking me. Okay, hold on, you can attack me all you want, but just let me survive. Come on, this could be it, this could be it. It also could not be it. Was that it? I think we got the challenge done. Now we're being revived, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think you should get out of there. Did we get the challenge done though? Is that, that's what really matters. I think we did. Yes, it's not on the top right anymore. So let's just go start vanquishing. 10 sheriff badges collected, that's nice. Okay, this is not very good. Dodge that. Come on, one more hit on him, one more hit. Okay, the other sunflower got him, but that's fine with me. Let's just get to vanquishing. We have a four vanquish lead right now. I just have to find the opponents. And we'll get even more. Get this engineer over this way, come on. Got him, heal. Let's get rid of his turret at the least, because that's gonna give us problems. Oh no, be careful, be careful. Uh. Okay, I think now's a better time than ever to do this, because there's a couple of them lined up. Oh, he's going in his barrel, because he's afraid. Who was getting me from over there? I don't know. Oh, you. All right, you wanna go? Let's go, I revived, so I took one away one of their points. Got it. And it's, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Using the wrong button there. No. 47 to 43. We got this, we're in the lead. Come on, come on. That parrot's trying to get me, and he got me, but that's fine. We're basically unrevivable in that cheese. But as long as we can get one more vanquish, somebody on our team, please get one more vanquish. Oh no, they revived one. Okay, yeah, got him, good job, Cactus. Keep running, keep going. It's a parrot, the parrot will forever try to get me specifically. Come on, don't let them turn this around on us. Don't do it. No, no, what are you doing? Okay, somebody did it. Okay, it was just trying to aim, it was trying to aim assist me to the one zombie when I was trying to face on the other. Who knows what was going on there, but I think we won. Yes, we did, and we got the challenge done along with it, so we have one more left to do. So another challenge completed, 10,000 coins for that one. I don't think you have anything new to say. Sergeant Pill's brother Mark is out here too, yep, yep, yep. So yeah, he doesn't. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. This time around, Abominable Space Zombies Team Vanquish. Space Cadets are helping Yetis find bling where no one has found it before. So I guess we're going against both Space Cadets and Yetis, and we need to defeat three Yetis for 10,000 coins. It's a crazy difficulty one because I guess I'll be boss fights to deal with in the Team Vanquish game mode. So we gotta play like our best plant here. Honestly, I've been meaning to play more Colonel Corn. This may be the chance. We'll have to see what our options are. And I definitely don't wanna play Sunflower right now because we just, we had our full on Sunflower that last round. So I think Colonel Corn's, actually we could try Rose. Remember, Rose is super powerful right now. So we'll try this out. Defeat three Yetis this way and see how it goes. If Rose doesn't work out, then I'll switch to Colonel Corn though. 
Okay. Because this is just normal Team Vanquish, but with Yetis. That all auto aim wasn't really working against him. Where'd he go? Is he still down here? He is. Go ahead and get that set up. I don't think we can go to fine, but it's good to try. How funny if that'd be if he like turned into like a Yeti goat and it was like some kind of cool secret. That'd be awesome. Unfortunately, not the case. Oh, keep getting him. Getting her, sorry. So the space cadets have been taken out, but I need to focus on the Yetis. Right now, that's the only Yeti I see. Maybe there's only one every once in a while. I'll have to wait and find out. But we are in the lead in terms of vanquishes too. Okay, there has to be a Yeti around because I just saw on the top right one vanquish of Colonel Corn. So let's just try to find where these guys are. Because right now it seems to be a total mystery to me. Seriously, where is this Yeti? Oh, I think I just saw him. Get the Space Cadet in the meantime. And like I said before, vanquish this Yeti. Okay, he means business. I wish it was, would actually work or at least do something. But he's just sort of standing around, so we could definitely vanquish him here just by stacking on the damage. Space Cadet's coming in now. Oh no, that's actually a, a real problem. They are catching up. You're kidding me, you got me with the missile? Nobody gets anybody with the missile. Come on, respawn quick, respawn quick, because now I know where they are. I'm gonna go and get them. We'll go in the super speed. And the Yeti's going the wrong way, darn. In the meantime, I can beat her up a little bit, if she doesn't mind just standing there. I think she was laughing at somebody. She must have vanquished somebody at some point. Where's the Yeti at? Here, Yeti, Yeti. Okay, he's under the bridge. Probably not the best idea to chase him like this. He's back to like full health. This might be a different Yeti altogether. Okay, don't hit me with everything, please. Got it. Oh no, <laughs> that was another one. Are they also outnumbering us? I'm not really sure. Uh, it might be good to switch because I don't. I don't think I, I'm having that hard hitting amount of damage I really need. So we're back to Colonel Corn, or I say back. We haven't played him today, so we're at Colonel Corn. Looking for those Yetis. Looking for those Space Cadets. They're all going down. If I have anything to say about it, throw the beacon. Okay, he's over here. Oh, he does have a friend. Boom and boom. That's a vanquish for us, right? Yep, that's two out of three. Husk hop over this one. Come on, I didn't even get to finish my husk hop. That was just cruel. Once we get this Yeti done, though, we are going all in on the space cadets, because I'm pretty sure vanquishing Yetis probably doesn't even count for the counter. Because that's usually how these things sort of work. Okay, there he is. Let's make him mad. Oh, wow, he had a really good aim with that. Oh, come on, get up. Get up. There we go. He was right here. Where did he go? I don't know. Well, I'll beat you up in the meantime. That is working. I don't know what they're doing. They're sort of just floating around. Oh, darn it. That stinks. Throw that down that way. Yeah, now they start taking more damage because of that. Let's, no, no. Okay, I got him, I got him, I can't believe it. Wow, maybe they can revive me? Oh, there they go, but don't get vanquished. Do not get vanquished, I repeat. Yeah, good job. Okay, so where is another Yeti around here? Because we aren't too far behind on score again. Here he is. I don't have any of my abilities right now, so they might vanquish me before I can do too much, and that would be a total shame, so don't let that happen. Okay, he has like, he has the butter on his head. Where is he going now? Gotta catch up to him. Here he is, husk hop over him. There's actually two of them here. Come on, get him. Yes, okay, that's the challenge done. So now we can go all in on vanquishing not yetis if this guy will leave me alone. Because it seems pretty easy to avoid the yetis in general. Come on, get you, I just need to break that shield. Just need to break that shield, keep jumping around. The shield is unbreakable. What is with this? It just, it won't stop. Okay, ready? Ah, what is? I, I pressed the triangle button way before that. I just, for the record, it just takes a while to start, and because of that, I just could not make that jump. Okay, 29 to 36, so we are falling behind. But if I do have to restart this, luckily I just won't have to worry about Yetis whatsoever, and that'll be nice. Okay, toss that over there. Somebody finally got them. I really don't even care who, if it's me or not. I just wanna be able to, uh, 
Get the vanquishes that are gonna get us to win the game properly. There we go, 34 to 38. So we are keeping up, or catching up. That was both miss. Okay, Yeti vanquished. Space Cadet vanquished. I was gonna revive you, but then I realized how risky of a situation this is. Toss that over, and then Husk Hop right over you, please. Not enough for a vanquish. Oh boy, can we really do this? I don't know, it's just their shields are too much. 39 to 41, we're really, really close now. The rest of our plant friends are picking up the pace, which is great. Making up for my mistakes. Throw the butter beacon. Hit the shuck shot, please. You're kidding me. Because they have at least, yeah, they have two space cadets on there, so there's two shields, and just, you can't break through that before they break through you. Man, oh man, what do you do about that? 40 to 46, now they're taking a major lead. We were so close, but it's not over. I'm pretty sure vanquishing a Yeti doesn't count, though, so I'm just gonna ignore him if I can. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm certainly trying. I might try again as the Rose, though, to be honest with you. I feel like we were damaging the Space Cadets more easily as a Rose, but definitely the Yetis more easily as a Colonel Corn. Can you stop that? Is there any singular Space Cadets we can vanquish, please? Or is it all just Yetis and groups of three? Maybe that does count, that went up to 43, so I guess maybe I'm wrong. I'm surprised by that. That's usually not how that kind of thing works. Uh, Cactus, are you all right? There we go, 44, okay, we could maybe turn this around then. It's, it's doable, it's possible, but it's you guys that are driving me nuts! Stop doing that! Okay, keep running, keep running, stop. Okay, I guess we're focusing on you instead. Jeez Louise. Oh, now there's a singular space cadet. They need one more vanquish, ooh, and I think they just got it, darn. So I'll have to redo the challenge, but that's fine, because I got the difficult bonus challenge done, which is to vanquish three Yetis in one round. So let me try again and see how it goes. Okay, so I think we won that time. It really did seem like my best go-to strategy was just to be as effective as I can with Acorn and Oak, because when the space cadets have all those shields set up, um, getting the super sap trap on them almost takes them out entirely, or if they're even a little bit damaged. So that can be the big buster to that. So that's what I recommend. Really tough challenge though, for sure. But there we go, with that done, ah, he was gone. We get some extra coins. Nice work clearing the Mount Steep battle chest. You remind me of a local clown plant hero, Choo Choo Binky Bee. Heard of her? No. She fought zombies to both protect and entertain brains. You inspired me to follow in her oversized footsteps. <laughs> Take this gift and keep fighting. All right, so what are we gonna get as a gift? I don't know. Uh, it always says that, and then we don't really get anything. Like sometimes we get coins, I guess abominable space zombies, but we got that just for completing the challenge. Um, are we gonna get anything extra? See, why do they always say that? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, that was what I mostly wanted to do in today's episode. Very action-packed. We got all five out of five of those done, but there's plenty more left to do in upcoming episodes in Mount Steep. We are going to do all the solo ops, all of the bounty hunts, all of the gnome bombs, not gnome bombs, golden gnomes, that's what I meant to say, and all the cheese fondue stuff. Lots of stuff going on, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Battle, so now you've watched the end of the you're a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.